How do you sell your home and then buy a new one in this crazy market? Let's dive in. I'm Aaron Nelson with White Coat Realty, powered by Skyline Properties, and I'm a local real estate expert here in the greater Seattle Tacoma area. And I work with homeowners who want to maximize their home equity by selling for the most amount of money with the least amount of hassle. Today, I'm here to share with you three tips on how you can buy and sell simultaneously in this market. So here's option one. Option one is you can rent an Airbnb or a short-term rental in your market, or heck, rent it in a different market. I know that if you're anything like me, there's probably a part of town, maybe it's the new upcoming hip part of town that you've always wanted to try out living in. Or heck, maybe you've always wanted to live on a little cabin on a lake. Go try it for a month or two. Put your stuff in storage. It'll still be there after you're done renting the Airbnb and rent a furnished rental. A lot of times with Airbnb or VRBO, these short-term rental sites will actually provide discounts if you stay for 30 days or longer. So even though the advertised nightly rate may be high, you may be able to negotiate a bit of a discount. So go try it. Sell your home, put your stuff in storage, go rent an Airbnb. And then during that time, that gives you the sale proceeds to be able to go out, put a down payment on a new home and look for the right ideal home that is right for you. Option two, you can negotiate a lease back. And actually this is very common in today's market. I do it all the time for the people who I'm helping sell their home. Right now in the market, because there's such low inventory, sellers have a lot of leverage. And as a result of that, buyers are often willing to accommodate sellers by offering things like a lease back. And the way that this works is that you would close the sale of your home on pick a date, and then after that, you would be able to stay in your home for let's say 15, 30, maybe even up to 45 days if you find a really nice buyer who's willing to work with you. That allows you to have the sale proceeds from your home, and then you have time to go out and look for the perfect next home for you. Option three is you can negotiate an extended closing period. Okay, and this is a little bit different than the lease back because technically you won't close the sale of your home until later on, until afterwards. But if you already have the proceeds that you need, or if you already have the down payment funds that you need to go out and search for your next home, this might be a really good option for you. You can go out, you can sell your home, uh, put it under contract, and then ex do an extended closing period. So maybe you negotiate a 45 day closing period or a 60 day closing period, or maybe in the contract, you can get your agent to write in an option for you where you can extend the closing period for up to 15 or 30 days based on your needs to go find a different home. And again, as I mentioned before, because it's such low inventory and sellers have a lot of leverage in this market, buyers are often willing to work with them and accommodate their timelines if it means the buyer is still going to get the home. I hope these tips were helpful for you. For more great content, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also visit our website, www.whitecoatre.com, where you can download a free copy of our nine tips for buying and selling at the same time. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.